How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Nun Tes, Daf 59 of Masechta Kedushin. Friends, yo friends, we're starting the third parak of Masechta Kedushin. Friends, uh, stuff. Okay, we're gonna start on Daf uh, Nun Ches. Uh, Amud Beis at the new parak at the new Mishnah. Omer Chaveru. A fellow says to his friend, "Sevikadish li isha plonis. I want you to go and betroth for me, so and so." V'halach v'kitsha la'atzmo. Ha! Son of a gun. Ah, gosh. And he goes and he marries her himself. Piece of work. Uh, Shimon says, Reuven, Reuven, can you go and uh, betroth the so-and-so for me? He says, yeah, sure. He goes and marries her himself. Son of a gun. Ah, little rascal. All right. I feel like that could put a dent in their uh, friendship. Uh, he goes and marries her himself. So, you know, Shimon sent Reuven. Reuven married her for himself. Okay. Reuven, Reuven's married to her, not Shimon. Similarly, if a fellow says to a fellow, um, You are going to be married to me in 30 days' time. And then somebody else comes within the 30 days and uh, betrothes her. She is married to the second fellow because she, she wasn't married yet to the first fellow until 30 days hence. Does the word hence make sense there maybe and 30 days hence hopefully that makes sense and then uh, somebody else comes within those 30 hence days and uh, is Mekadashir well she's Mekadashir to the second person because she the, the first Kiddushin didn't kick in yet and uh, if uh, she's a boss uh, uh, meaning and the point is she is a thousand percent married to the second person to the extent that if she's a Bas Yisrael and he's a Kohen, she can eat Shuma. There's no questions about the first guy. First guy is out of the picture. His Kiddushim was only uh, uh, going to be uh, uh, kicking in 30 days hence. And uh, the second person who uh, uh, was Mekadesh uh, within that window beat him to it. Okay. So here things get a little bit interesting. If a fellow says that um, that you are betrothed to me me'achshav from now, and after 30 days. So now what? Is it now? Is it 30 days? What? And now after the first fellow deployed that vague terminology, comes a second fellow, and he's mekadesher within the 30 days. So now what? So now it's kilu a suffix. It's Kilu a Suffolk. We don't know. Was she married to the first guy? Was she not married to the first guy? So is she now married to the second? Unclear. So, Bas Yisrael the Koyin, or Bas Koyin Yisrael the Soch Avichuma. If one of them, you know, if she's a Bas Yisrael and one of them was a Koyin, or, or, or if she's a Bas Koyin and one of them was a Yisrael, um, um, she can't, uh, she can't uh, eat uh, Truman because we don't, we don't know exactly who she's married to. Alright. Very nice. It's a suffix, so therefore she can't eat uh, truma. All right. Uh, right, meaning if, if she's a basi son, he's a koyin, so she would be able to eat truma on account of him. But we don't know if she's married to him. And if she's a basi koyin and he's a Yisrael, so then if they're not married, she could eat truma because her father's a koyin, and as long as she's not married, she can eat truma. But the, the but the the problem is that she might be married, so because of the suffix, she can't eat truma. Fine. Haomer lechaveru, a fellow says. To his friend, save a kaddish, right? So a fellow, Ruvain says to his pal, uh, no, fakir. Let's say I always do it like the opposite. I don't know. In, in my little noggin, it, it, it's easier to work with for whatever reason that way. So Shimon says to Ruvain, uh, I feel like maybe it gets like some closure there. Like if you start with Shimon and then you work backwards to Ruvain, so you kind of like know who all your characters are. But maybe if you start with Ruvain and go to Shimon, then it's like wait, but maybe there's a Levi. Maybe I don't know. For some reason, like in my head. It's easier to work with if I start with Shimon. I don't know why. And move backwards from there. Well, that's what you got to do when you have, uh, you know, such a powerful brain. You got to work with what you got. I make it work. To whatever extent that I do. 
So if Shimon says to his pal Reuven, I want you to go out and be Mekadosh me, a fella. And he's Reuven, son of a gun, is, is Mekadosh for himself. So Tanamasha also also El Shinogbo Minigramos. Okay, so what Reuven has done is done. He married her himself. She's married to Reuven. But, but he, he's a son of a gun. He's a backstabber. Sir Amoy, he's, he's a tricker. Uh, uh, a deceiver. A backstabber. Metana Didon. Halach Nami. Dikatani. Halach Beramos. And therefore, our Mishnah, when it says that Reuven went, he went as a backstabber. So how come in our mission we're talking about his friend? Shimon says to his friend Ruvain, go and be Makadesh me a fella. Whereas in the, in the previous parak we had talked about uh, if a fellow says to his shaliach, uh, I want you to be Makadesh me a fella in a particular spa- a place, and he was Makadesh in a different place, in Makadeshis. How come over here we're talking about friends and over there in that context we're talking about messengers, emissaries, agents? Fine. So, mashna osam de katani ha omele shlucho so ha ha rebu sa kmashman wa osam rebu sa kmashman Well, because in each case there's a chiddish to be taught. There's a chiddish to be taught in our Mishnah by the backstabber. And there's a chiddish to be taught in the earlier Mishnah when he's uh, sending a shaliach to betroth the fella in a particular place. Ha ha rebu sa kmashman. The chiddish over here when it comes to the backstabber that he says he's sending his friend. So, the itana shlucho. Have a mina shlucho who davi ramoi. The som chadaite. So, vavadishlichusi. Because we said in our Mishnah that Reuven is a backstabber. So, 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 so let's read that again. So, so here the chiddush is the itana shlucho. If in our case of the backstabber, it didn't say that Shimon sent his friend Reuven. If it would have said that Shimon sent his emissary Reuven. So I would think, okay, that's why he's a backstabber. He sent Reuven as an emissary. Reuven's a backstabber because Shimon sent him as his emissary. Shimon was relying upon Reuven as his shaliach. Shimon figured Reuven is my shaliach. He's reliable. He's dependable. He's going to do, execute the mission that he was sent on. But if Reuven is not Shimon's emissary, but he's his friend, that's already, you know, you can never, uh, for certain things, you want to leave it up to the professionals. Right? Uh, he's relying on his friend. He's doing him a favor. It's, it's a less reliable uh, uh, appointment. And therefore, maybe if uh, uh, Reuven turns out to be a son of a gun, uh, he wouldn't necessarily be a backstabber in the same way that, 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 that a shaliach would be. Same with the Ramoy. So I might think that uh, Reuven, the friend, would not be considered a backstabber, only Reuven, the shaliach. So therefore, we have our mission that says, no, even Reuven, the friend, is a backstabbing son of a gun. Hosam Rebusa Kamash Malon. And uh, by uh, the local, right, when Shimon uh, sends Reuven as his shaliach to uh, uh, be Mekadesh, a fella, in a particular place, and he's Mekadesh in a different place, we say, enemy Mekadesh is there, Davka mentions shaliach, the itana omer lechaveru, because if we would say uh, that if Shimon sends his friend Reuven to be mekadesh in a particular place, so have him chaveru who dechi kidsha b'makom acher ena mikudeshes. I would think okay, Davka if Shimon sends Reuven as his friend and says be mekadesh me a fella in this particular place and he's mekadesh in a different place, so I might think if Reuven was his friend, okay, I understand. Why it's Ena Mikudesh in the other place? Because Shimon, when sending Reuven as a friend, the, 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 the level of uh, 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 expectation is lower. Because since he's sending him as a friend, he's not sending him as a shaliach. He's sending him as a friend. So Shimon assumes, look, I told Reuven to betroth her in a particular place. I don't expect that if she's not there, he's going to go and find her in some other place. Because I'm just sending him as a friend, as a favor. The Savel Torah, Shimon figures he's not going to sort of put in the extra mile to find her in the other place. And that is why she's not Mikudeshes in the other place. Avashlucho de Torah. But if Shimon sends Ruvain as his emissary, as a Shaliach, so I might think that Shimon's uh, uh, expectation 
is that, well, if Reuven doesn't find her in the place that I told her that, that I told him that she is, he'll find her wherever she is. And therefore, I might think that Shimon's expectation is that she would be Mikudeshis in the other place. So, Ema Mayra Makamulo, Kamash Malon, right? I may have thought that in the context of the messenger of the, of the Shaliach, it would just be considered by uh, uh, trying to make the Shaliach's life easier by saying that it's in this particular place, but you know, he expects that if she's not there, he would be Makadash in the other place. Kamash Mala know uh, that when Shimon sends a Shaliach to be Makadash in a particular place, it's limited to that place, not any other place. So that is why um, we had to say in our Mishnah, friend, and in the other Mishnah, by uh, being Makadash in a particular place, we mention in emissary. Ravin Chasida Ozil Likidushe La Le Itzulivre. So Ravin Chasida went to make a shidduch for his son. A kid shalit, right? Well, more than that, he went to be Makadish a fella on behalf of his son, for his son. Kid Shalin Afshe. He ended up marrying her himself. But our Mishnah says that uh, if somebody does that, he's a backstabber. Are we calling Rav and Chasida a backstabber? So, and for the Gemara, look, Rav and Chasida didn't really have a choice. They weren't. They were unwilling to give their daughter to his son, only to him. So, therefore, that's why he could not marry her to his son. He had to marry her himself. Well, he should have at least informed his son that he was marrying her himself. So, so he thought, yeah, but while I go and I inform my son, somebody else is going to come and be Mikadisher. So therefore, he was Mikadisher himself. Rabbi Babachana, Yoiv Le, Zuze, Lirab. Rabbi Babachana gave money to Rab. Omar Le, and he says to Rab, Zabno Nili, Lai Ara. Rav, I want you to purchase a particular uh, property for me. Also, Zabdan Linafshe, Rav went and he purchased the property for himself. But we said that um, Rav should be considered a backstabber over here. Rav Babachani gave him money, sent him to, to purchase a particular land for him. He purchased it for himself. Are we saying that Rav is a backstabber? So, Baigada Alime. Hava, skip that next word. L'rab noage be covid l'rab babachana lo nagube covid. Look, it was it was it was a tough it was a tough uh, it was a tough area. The people who live where that pe- where that property was, they 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 were a rough bunch. They were a rough bunch, and they said, "We don't know this rabba babachana guy. We don't want to know who he is. We want nothing to do with him." He's not buying land here among us tough guys. You, on the other hand, Rav, we respect you. You can buy land among us tough guys. So Rav didn't really have much of a choice. Purchasing the land for Rav Barachana wasn't an option, so he purchased it for himself. So he bought it though, do eh? Well, Rav should have at least let Rav Barachana know that they won't sell it to him, to Rav Barachana, so Rav himself is going to buy it. So, so but Rab was concerned by the time I go and tell uh, Rab Babachana that they won't sell it to him, but they'll sell it to me. By that time, somebody else will swoop in and, and, and buy it. So therefore, that's why Rab just, just went for it. Rav Gidl, Rav Gidl very much wanted to purchase a certain land. And he was keeping an eye on it. You know, he was eyeing a certain land to, to buy. Also Rav Abba, Zabna. Ah, Rababa came and scooped it up, snatched it up, swooped it up, swooped in and scooped it up. Uh, right, so, so Rav Gidl was eyeing a certain property, comes Rababa and quit and buys it before Rav Gidl has a chance to. Also, Rav Gidl, Kabdali Rav Zeri, so Rav Gidl went and cried foul to Rav Zeri. He says, look what just happened. I was, I wanted to buy this land. Comes Rababa and scoops it up. So also Reb Zera v'kable le Reb Yitzchak Nafcha. Now Reb Zera went. You, I guess he wasn't sure what to do. So he went and 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 and, and I guess forwarded um, uh, Reb Gidel's complaint to Reb Yitzchak Nafcha. So Omer le, so Reb Yitzchak Nafcha says, "Hamtin atchiyale etzlenu 
Lorego. Let's just wait until Rabbi Abba comes, uh, you know, around the time of the next uh, festival when he comes to, 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 to the Shir. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk to him about it. Kisalik, when Rabbi Abba came to the Shir, when Rabbi Abba came to the Shir, Ashkechei, so Bitzchak Nafcha found of Abba. And then he says to him, Oni ma'apich b'charor v'achiv netale imenu, my. What's the halacha, Rabbi Abba, if you have a poor fellow who is eyeing a certain uh, 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 pastry, a certain epis to eat, v'achiv netale imenu, comes some other guy and swoops it up, and now the poor fellow has nothing to eat. So what, what, what's the halacha? So Amr le'ni k'arosha. Rabbi Abba says it's called big, big nudnik, the swooper-upper. So if you're on my mar, vel mar, my time of avirachi. Well, if that's the case, Rabbi, Abba, how come you did this to Rav Gittel? Don't didn't didn't you know that Rav Gittel was eyeing that land and you just swooped it up? Amalei lo avi yadaino. Rabbi says no, I did not know that I did that. I did not know that Rav Gittel was eyeing that property. So hashta nami nezvaniyale. So Yitzchak Navcha says okay, but now you know. So why why don't you give it to why, so why don't you sell it back to uh to Rebaba uh to Reb Gidl? Mm. Ma so where I mean is it my niale mar so omale zabune lom zabnina lo the ara kamaisahi vlomasam na milsa. So Rebaba says, look, I'm not going to sell it to um um to to um uh, Gidl, because it's the first property that I purchased and it's bad luck to sell your first property. So I'm not going to sell it to him. But he could take it as a gift. I'm happy to give it to Rivgidl as a gift. I did not know that he was eyeing that property. It was not my intent to, to you know, snatch it away from him. Um, I, I don't want to sell it to him because it's bad luck because it's my first property that I purchased, but I'll, I will gift it to him. I'll give it to him as a gift. Rav Gidl didn't want it. Dirsiv svisoni matonas yichye that a fellow who hates uh, 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 presents, gifts will live. Rav Abba lo nochis lo, and Rav Abba didn't go into the land, didn't use the land. Mishum do apich ba Rav Gidl because now he knows that Rav Gidl wanted it and he feels bad that he swooped it up. So nobody was using it. Rav Gidl wasn't using it because he didn't want to accept it as a gift. Rav Abba didn't want to use it because he felt bad that you know it was not. In, he felt badly. That uh, Rav Gidl was 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 eyeing it, and he swooped it up. So lo my nochis love, lo my nochis love, miskaya ayre the So um, so nobody was using it. Rav, uh, Rav Gidl wasn't using it. Rav Abba wasn't using it, and they called it beetsim, a field that was hefker uh, for the rabbis to use. So now said the Mishnah, v'chena omer leisha is kachli v'chule, and similarly a fellow says to a fellow, be mukudeshes to me in thirty days. And then within those 30 days, within that window, somebody else comes as Mekadashur, she is Mekadashur, is the second fellow. Loba acher v'kid shabasoch shloshim ma'u. What if nobody came within those 30 days? So Rav Shmuel damit avayu, Mekadashur. So Rav and Shmuel both say, comes 30 days. 30 days later, she's Mekadashur, right? Fellow says to fellow, uh, we're going to be uh, engaged in 30 days. Nobody else says Mikadash within those thirty days. Thirty days later, they are she's betrothed to him. And even though the money's gone, right? Right? He was Mikadash with some money. And he says, what do you say? you're Mikudesh to me in thirty days' time. Comes thirty days' time, she's Mikudesh, even though the money's gone by that point. My time, how come? Hanizuze la lo lemilvedamu v'lo lepikodin damu, because the money that she received upon receiving the kesef kedushin at the beginning of the thirty days is neither like a loan nor is it like a deposit. Lepikodin lo damu, pikodin b'shusa demara kamesach levahane b'shusa dido kamesachle. So. The money she receives at the beginning of the 30 days is not considered like a pikodin, it's not considered like a deposit, right? Because we learned the other day that, that if, he's, if he gives her a deposit and then he's makadish her with a deposit, so even if all of it got stolen, as long as there's a, there has to be a shove, as long as there's a shove put to left, uh, 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 then she's makadish's, but if there's no shove put to left, then it doesn't work. So, but we're here, we're saying that even if it's entirely used up, 
she's mikudesh. So it's not like a pikadun because a pikadun still belongs to the um, um, the, 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 the the giver, right? If I you know if I if a fellow gives to a fella money not to, not as a loan not to use but to, but to, but to, you know hold on to and then give it back to him, so it belongs to him the whole time. And that's not the case over here because here he gave it to her and she used it up on her own terms. The milva nami lo damu. It's also not like a loan. Milva lo tzar nitna. Hani b'toris kedushin yavino yavino niela. Because as we learned, milva lo tzar nitna. That if a fellow gives a fellow money as a loan, the point is she's gonna take that money and spend it on pizza. And then at some later point, she's gonna work at a pizza shop. She's gonna make back the money and she's gonna give it back. But um, a loan is given to be spent. Whereas over here, uh, Rashi says it pretty elegantly that over here. He's 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 giving her the money to spend under the condition that it's used as kesef kedushin. What 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 does Rashi say? He says, "Aval elu." I'm in the middle of the dibra maschel lo tzar nitna. I don't know about more than halfway through the Rashi's, but th- three four lines into that dibra maschel. So aval elu lo nitna la lo tzion. She didn't. Right, this money was only, was not given to her to just immediately buy pizza, no no string attached, no strings attached. It was only given to her to to to, to spend under the condition that it's also kesef kedushin. And that is why um, 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 uh, you know even if at the end of the thirty days. Um, it's already been spent up. It's okay because she initially accepted it under the conditions that it was going to be kesef kedushin, and and um, therefore it. I guess it's like pending for thirty days, and then as long as you know comes the thirty days, so then then they are. She's mikudeshes. Lo ba acher v'kidja v'chazra ba mahu. Oh, what if? Nobody's Makadisha. I mean, he, a uh, fellow's Makadisha, fella. And, uh, that, in that, what does he say? La'acha shloshim yom. That after 30 days we'll be married. Alright. So now we're saying, lo ba'acha v'kidsha. And during that 30 day window, nobody else was Makadisha. But guess what? Guess what she did? V'chazrabah. But she says, you know what? Forget about it. Not interested. Don't care. Not interested. He says we have a 30-day window. Within that window, she says, forget about it. Not interested. Boom. So let's read that again. So Rabbi Yochanan Omer says, Rabbi Yochanan Chozeres. Okay. She says, I'm not interested. So she's not interested. Dissolves the Kiddushin. Her Dibur of I'm not interested is Mavatal his Dibur of Ariat Mekudesh Esli. We're going to talk about the fact that he actually gave her something in a second. Rishlakish says that she can't simply say, I'm out, uh, because you can't have Dibur Mavatal Dibur, right? He says, All right, li, and she accepts. She cannot later just say, You know what, forget about it, I'm not interested. So, Bechna asks Akasha to Rishlakish. Bitel. If you have Shimon, Shimon appoints Ruvain to separate his Truma form. And right, Shimon appoint, right, appoints Ruvain as a messenger to separate his Truma form. And then Shimon changes his mind and he says, you know what, actually I don't want Ruvain to separate my Truma for, for me. So, 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 so says the Gemara. Where am I? Right, so let's read that again. So, if Shimon decides, forget it, I, I don't want Reuben to separate my Truma for me. As long as Reuben has not yet separated the Truma for Shimon, ain't Truma also Truma. So then, if, then, right, so if before Reuben separates the Truma, Shimon says, forget it, I don't want it. So then even if Ruvain then goes and separates the Truma, it's irrelevant because Shimon was already Mavatal the Shlichos. So we see that his Dibor of forget about it is Mavatal is Dibor of I want you to please separate Truma for me. 
So So over here it's Dibor and Dibor. Shimon says, I want you to separate Truma. Then he says, I don't want you to separate Truma. Because the Dibor Mavatal Dibor. And we see that Shimon's Dibor is being his later Dibor is being Mavatal is earlier Dibor. So Rishlakish. Here we see that Osi Dibor Mavatal Dibor, like Rabbi Echanon. Shiny Nasinas Maos Liad Isha Tihi Maise Domil Vilo Osi Dibor Mavatal Maise. You hear this? This is big. So Rishlakish actually says, you know what? You're right. But our case of the Kiddushin is not simply a case of Dibor and Dibor. It's not simply he says Ariyam Kudeshisli and she then later says I'm not interested. It's not just Dibor and Dibor. There was a Maise. Not a full out. Like Maise, nothing. Uh, I guess he didn't change anything or whatever. But he, he gave her something. He gave her a coin. So, 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 therefore that's enough, says Rishlakish, to be considered a shtikol maise, and therefore her dibor of I'm not interested cannot, is not, cannot out strengthen, override the maise kiddushin that, right, that he gave her the kest of kiddushin. So, 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 essentially, it seems that Rishlakish is conceding to Rabbi Yechonon. Yes, I admit. Osi dibor mavatal dibor. However, our case of kiddushin, when he gives her Kesef Kedushin and says that we're married in 30 days from now, and in the middle she says, I'm not interested, that doesn't work because when he said Ariyat Mekodesh initially, he gave her something. He gave her Kesef Kedushin, therefore makes it uh, like a Maise, and therefore her Dibor of I'm not interested cannot um, uh, 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 override the uh, Maise Kedushin, the coin that was given. Eisve, Rishlokish asks, Rabbi Yechon asks another kasha on Rish Lakish. Hashulech get ishto. A fellow sends a get to his wife with a messenger, with an emissary. Bigia bishaliach. And then the husband bumps into the messenger who is on his way to deliver the get. O shesholach acharav shaliach. Or he sent after, or he say, or he pointed a shaliach to run after the original shaliach. Vamrlo get shenasati l'chabatol hu. And he says, forget about it. I know I gave you a get to marry, to divorce my wife. Forget about it. It's bottle. Hareze, bottle. So the get is bottle. So here, Sakash and Rishlakish, because here we have a situation of Dibur Mavatal Dibur, right? First he says to the messenger, I want you to go divorce my wife. Then he says to her, I don't want you to divorce my wife. And there's also a shtikel Maisa here as well, that he gave the get to the Shaliach, just like he's giving the Kesev Kedushin. To his wife, and still we're saying that it's bottle. So also dibur mavatol dibur. V'on nesinas get liad shaliach, the chinesinas maos liad isha domi. And right, the husband, as I just said, the husband giving the get to the shaliach should be parallel to the fellow giving the kesef kedushin to the fellow, and still v'katoni hareze bottle. And we're saying that the husband can be mavatol. Right, his dibor of I don't want you to deliver it could be mavatol the original dibor of I want you to deliver the get even though he also gave the shaliach the get. So also nami kokamad lo moto gita liyado dibor ve dibor who asi dibor mavatol dibor says rish lakish no those cases are not comparable. The kiddushin is not comparable with the case of gittin that we just mentioned because by the kiddushin he's giving her the money and therefore. When she says, I'm not interested, at a, at a later point she says, I'm not interested, that cannot override the fact that he gave her the money. By the get, she never received the get yet. It was still on its way. So as long as she hasn't received the get yet, so it's not really considered a maise. And therefore it's dibur and dibur. And says Rishlakish, okay, fine. So dibur could be mavatal dibur, but dibur cannot be mavatal a maise by the kedushin because she received the kedushin. That is a maise. Or at least, Kilo, more on the maise spectrum. Okay. Now Rishlokish turns the tables on Rabbi Yechonon. That vessels can become Tome B'machshove with a thought. What does that mean? It means that if I'm creating a vessel right now, Kalim are Mekabal Tumah. Now, but if it's not complete yet, then it's not yet Mekabal Tumah. So let's say you're building a, you're, you're constructing a vessel. And now you're basically at a crossroads. You're, you, the, 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 the vessel is constructed. But you still have to sand it. They're still kind of final finishing touches that have to be put on it. 
So generally speaking, it wouldn't be considered complete until the finishing touches are complete. But if in your mind you're done, you're not planning to do the finishing touches, this is done, it's, it's complete, well then it will be able to be Mikabel Tuma at that point. Okay, so call Kalim Yordan the Tumasim Bimachshov, just with a thought of uh, this is complete as far as I'm concerned, well, it cannot be Mikabel Tuma. Then all the midday tumas and el bishinoy ma'ase. Now, if you change your mind and say, actually, you know what? I do want to add some sanding. So, just flipping a switch in your head is not enough to make it not makabel tuma until the sanding is complete. You have to actually start sanding. You have to do something to show that 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 it's no longer you're no longer considering it complete. So we see ma'ase motzi midday ma'ase umiad machshove. So we see that a ma'ase is able to override a maise or a machshava, but machshava ain't motzia lo miad maise v'lo miad machshava, but uh, uh, just a thought would not be able to uh, override, um, certainly not a maise, but not even an initial thought. And we're comparing thought, we can, you know, we're equating thought with speech, right? And just like machshava is not able to override a machshava, so dibor Cannot override Dibor either. Bishlomo miyad maise lo mafko tlo osi dibor mivato maise. So now, so we say, so I understand why uh, Dibor would not be able to be mivato la maise, but Rabbi Yochanan, el miyad machshova mi a topic, but Rabbi Yochanan, I, so Rishlokish asked Rabbi Yochanan, right? He says, don't we see from here that machshova is unable to override another machshova? According to you, it should be able to override it. So, and for the Gemara, shiny machshove de tume, no. Even though Rabbi Yochanan says by, uh, you know, Kiddushin, that um, uh, Dibur is mevatel Dibur, but it's different when it comes to um, um, Tuma. Because when it comes to Tuma, the chimaise domi, uh, 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 the machshove is considered like a maise, uh, the Papa, like Papa, the Papa Rami, the Papa asks, ksev kiyiten vikorinan kiyuton. That we read the pasuk kiyuton mayim al zera, but it's written without uh you know uh, uh, a uh, uh, what is it called a uh, uh, is that a kubutz? What's a shuruk? A shuruk. I think shuruk is like the vav with the dot. I think it's without a shuruk. So 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 it's it's like kiyiting. It's read right. So kiyiting we call it kiyuton. We read it kiyuton, which is passive. Kiyutin is active. Kiyutin is passive. Okay, so how is this? Kiyutin dumi de kiyitin. That when it is water is placed on it, it's like when you yourself place it. Mayitin denichale avyutin denichale. Just like when you would place something, it's sort of volitional. So also and um, with intent, right? It's nichale. It's right, it's volitional. Uh, so also when it, when water gets on it, it has to be uh, nichale. It has to be beneficial to the fellow. But we see that I meaning you have to be interested in having it get wet. But we see that we assume that we treat machshove of and the status of kalim um, like a maise kiyitin. We have to say kiyitin that we treat it like a maise. And therefore, um, uh, when in his mind he decides that the kli is complete um, and he's not going to do the final touches. So then it's Ke'ilu, there was like a Maise, and that is why when he then changes his mind and says, no, you know what, I want to, I want to keep going. It's, it's, it's Ke'ilu, uh, Dibor and Maise. Dibor cannot override in Maise. Rav Zvid, Masni, La Shmaitso, Aho. Rav Zvid has this Machloikes between, uh, Rabbi Yechonon and Rishlokish on the following Sugyo. V'chein hi, Shenosno, Rishus, Lishlucho, Likadsha, that if um, a fella gives a permission to a shaliach to accept Kesef Kiddushin on her behalf, v'holcho he v'kidsho es atzma. But then she, the fella, went and she was mikadish herself to some other fellow. Im shelo kadmu kiddushel kiddushin. If the fella's uh, kiddushin, uh, when she accepted kiddushin on her own behalf, preceded the shaliach accepting kiddushin for her, so then the fellas kiddushin is what counts. Vim shel shlucha kadmu ein kiddusha kiddushin. And if her messenger accepted kiddushin on her behalf before she accepted kiddushin on her own behalf, so then her own kiddushin is irrelevant because the messenger had already accepted the kiddushin for her. Lo kiddusha es atzma. 
if she had not accepted her own kiddushin, but she decided that she does not want the 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 shaliach to accept the kiddushin on her behalf. Okay, is that a mosquito? I don't think it is. I do not believe that that is a mosquito. I do not believe that that is a mosquito. That is not a mosquito. That is not a mosquito. That flying organism should be happy. And so am I. Now, um, so, Lokitra is Atma. So, if she was not a uh, Mikadish herself, Vichazrubo. Right, and she changed her mind. Right, she had, she had said to a shaliach, "I want you to accept kesef kiddushin on my behalf." She changed her mind. I don't want this fel- this uh, shaliach to accept kesef kiddushin on my behalf. Mao, what's that locha? Can dibur can right also dibur mivatel dibur? Can her latter proclamation of "I don't want the shaliach to accept the kiddushin on my behalf" uh, override the original proclamation of "Please accept kiddushin on my behalf"? Rabbi Yochanan Amar Choseris, Rishlakish Amar Ena Choseris. So Rabbi Yochanan says that she can, right? Asi Dibur, uh, let's go by the second. Rabbi Yochanan Amar Choser, Asi Dibur, Mavatal Dibur. Rabbi Yochanan says that she can retract because Asi Dibur, Mavatal Dibur, right? She had initially said to the Shaliach, I want you to accept Kesef Kedushin on my behalf. Well, then she could later say, I don't want you to accept Kesef Kedushin on my behalf. Rish Lakish Omar, Eina Choseris, where Rish Lakish says she cannot retract because Lo Asi Dibur, Mavatal Dibur, because, um, her later proclamation cannot overrule her earlier proclamation. How could you say Ein Dibur Mavatal Dibur? Lost Dibur Mavatal Dibur. But after all, we have a Brice. Betel that if uh, wait, is this a Brice or a Mishnah? Is a Brice or a Mishnah? Mishnah. So so so. If Shimon had asked Reuven, we we had seen this before. If Shimon, where am I? Where am I? Bita. So if Shimon was um, right, asks Reuven to to separate Trumas for him, and then Shimon says has second thoughts, says I, says, I don't want Reuven to separate Truma for me. Im ad shelo taram bitel in Trumas Truma. If Shimon was uh, decided that he doesn't want Reuven to separate his truma for him before Reuven separated the truma. So then, so then in truma, so truma. So then, when, it, it, right, if, if Shimon was Mavato before Reuven wa, was Mafish truma, so then if Reuven's Mafish truma, it's irrelevant. So we see that also Dibur Mavato Dibur. So Amar Rav says, Rav, Hachob Mayaskinon, here what are we talking about? Kigon, Shekadon Balabayis, Vitarim es Keryo Davale Maise. Well, here it's talking about where Shimon actually separated his own Truma before Ruvain separated Truma. So meaning, so meaning, so meaning, um, 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 right, Rishlakish can maintain Lo Asi Dibur Mavatal Dibur. The reason why uh, uh, Ruven cannot separate Truma is because Shimon actually went and he was and separated his own Truma first. So it was actually a Maise. And therefore, it's not a matter of also dibur vatal dibur. Shimon actually separated his truma on his own, and that is and that is why Ruvain Ruvain uh, can't separate truma anymore. Eisve rishlokish now rishlokish as a kashin of Yochanan. Kol akelim yordan de tumasun b'machshava ve'ein olin mitumasun ela b'shinu imaisa as we had seen before that a kli can be considered complete b'machshava when you decide in your mind that it's complete, but to undo that idea and to say, actually, I want to put the finishing touches on it, that cannot be done with thought alone. You would actually have to do a maise. You'd have to do an action. Maise motzi miad maise umiad machshava. So a maise can override a maise or a thought. Machshava ena motzia lo miad maise lo miad machshava. But just a thought alone, or in our case, speech, would not be able to override. Certainly not an action, but not even a thought. Now, Rabbi Yochanan, Bishlomo miyad maise lo mafka lo asi dibur mavato maise. So I understand, sure, dibur cannot be mavato maise, but Rabbi Yochanan, el miyad machshava miyad topic, but shouldn't dibur be able to override maise? Uh, shouldn't dibur should be able to override machshava or dibur mavato dibur? 
So Omerle, shiny machshav de tuma. Look, thought in the context of tuma is different. Dechimai sedami because it is like an action. Uchda papa and like a papa. There are papa rami. There are papa asakasha. Kiyitein v'ksiv kiyitein v'karinon kiyuton. The pasuk is written kiyitein, but we read it kiyuton. How kids are always this kiyuton to me the yitein that um, when water gets on it, it's like when you place water on it. Ma'yitein denichale avutanami denichale. That just like. Uh, when you place water on something that very right, volitionally, so also when if something gets wet and is able to be kavatuma, it is volitionally. But we see that we refer to tuma as the machshov of tuma as yitain as an action, and therefore it's more similar to a maise. Ezver biyechen the rishlokish. Oh, so now comes rishlok biyechen yasakash and rishlokish, and this is going to knock him out of the water. Blow him out of the water. So, Eisver Biechen and the Rishlokish Hashalech Get Le Ishto. That if a husband sends a get to his uh, wife, Vigi Ba Shaliach, and he bumps into the Shaliach, or Shashalach Achar of Shaliach, or he sent a messenger after the messenger to say, Hey, stop the presses. Ve Omailo, Get Shanasati Lucha Botolu, and he says to the Shaliach, Hey, that get is bottle, Hareze bottle. So we see, Osi Dibor, Umevatol. Dibor, Tuv to do Rishlokish, Tuvto. And that, that bets him, uh, blows Rishlokish out of the water. Um, sorry, Rishlokish. Um, there you go. I mean, he sends the get and he says, uh, wait, don't send the get. Also, Tibum Vatal Dibor. Sorry, Rishlokish. Feels like I've also done Yechonon, and the Alocha is like Rib Yechonon. And I feel like i even uh, in our first example, right, right, uh, uh, when uh, when when uh, a fellow is mikdash a fella, and um, and uh, he says it's only going to kick in in thirty days, and then in the middle she says I'm not interested. So also dibur mivatal dibur, and the lachas like Rabbi Yochanan that she can call off the betrothal. But I forgot to give the memer shining in sinas mos leadishu dechmai sedami, and even though yes, there is the theoretical argument of Rish Lakish. That because he's giving her money, it's like there's a maise, so maybe it's like dibur mivato maise. No, no, we say also dibur mivato dibur, and she could within the thirty day window say, you know what, I'm not interested. Afilu hachi also dibur mivato dibur, still dibur is mivato dibur. Kasha ilchsa hilchasa. But then the gemara says, wait a second, but this is uh, 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 contradictory because Omar tilchsa ker Rabbi Yechonon. Because on the one end we're saying that the Allah is a kabyochan, but at the same time, Vikaimalon, right, which is that the get is a uh, bottle. Vikaimalon, Ilchsakur of Nachman, but we say that the Allah is a kabyochan, Nachman, the Bailu, that the Asakash, Mausha Yachsu Vigarishbo. Can he then reuse the get? Right, meaning a fellow had sent with a messenger a get to send to his wife. He then says, wait, actually, forget about it. So we say, Osu Dibur, Mavatal Dibur, we're saying the Allah is a kabyochanon. And yet, and yet, we say, okay, but can he still use the get? If he wants to change his mind and say, you know what, I want to use the get? Rav Nachman Omar, Choser Megarish, but yeah, he could still use it. Rav Shesha Omar, Eino Choser Megarish, but Rav Shesha says, no, you can't use it. After, after he was Mavatalit. Vekam lo nilchsa kavosid Rav Nachman. We say that the halach is like Rav Nachman. That he could still reuse the get, but... I thought he was mavatul the get. So the one we're saying that Allah is like Rabbi Yochanan, that Osidibur mavatul dibur is mavatul the get. But we also said that Allah is like Rav Nachman, that he could still reuse the get. So Nihid the battle mitor is shaliach, mitor is get lo batlis. To which the Gemara says, no, he's being Osidibur mavatul dibur. Right? He had said to, he made a shlichus. He said to the fellow, I want you to deliver this get to my wife. He's not being mavatul the get, he's being mavatul the, the instruction to the, to, to the emissary. So the emissary no longer is instructed to deliver it. But the get itself remains intact. Okay, Chavit, I'm going to need you to come along with me on a mission. I'm going to need you to come along with me on a mission. The mission is, the mission is that I want to get to the next Mishnah. Kind of halfway or so. Dan Samach Humad Aleph. We've already, it's already been a long daf. But, I, 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 I want I want to get to the next Mishnah on Dafsam Alchumar Alpha, right? 
If you want, you're welcome to turn off the thing now and come back to it in the mor- tomorrow, whatever. I think it's going to take some time, but here are our options, friends. Here are our options. Either we stop now and then tomorrow's a long daf, or we do this now and then tomorrow's a shorter daf. But I don't want to stop at the bottom of the page because then we're going to have to pick it up in the middle tomorrow. I don't want to do that. Okay? Okay. You're welcome to turn it off at whatever point you want and pick up whenever you want. All right? All right. Fine. So, says, okay, so now we're at the two dots. So we had said, oh, so we had said that if a fellow is Mikadesh a fellow, and he says it's going to kick in in 30 days, and then within the 30 days, somebody else is Mikadesh her, so she's Mikadesh to the second fellow. So now, so Omri Rav, Mikadesh Lasheni. So Rav says that she's Mikadesh to the second uh, fellow, the Olam, forever. Forever, right? So Kilu, uh, uh, okay, let, 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 let's just get into Ruven and Shimon and Sarah. Ruven was Mikadesh Sarah, and he says it'll kick in in 30 days. Within that window comes along Shimon, and he's Mikadesh her. So it says Rav, she's Mikadesh to Shimon forever. Ushmuel am Mikadesh Lasheni ad Lamed Yom. Where Shmuel says, no, Sarah is Mikadesh to Shimon. Until the window is up. At the end of the 30 day window, Shimon's Kiddushin goes away, and now Ruven's Kiddushin kicks in, and she's married to Ruven. Rav Chizda says, This makes no sense. Friend, we learned Mesech to get in, did we not? In order to dissolve a marriage, you have to give a get. If she's married to Shimon, within that window, that, who, uh, friends, we learned Masech the Gittin. Do you remember in any of the 91 or 92, however pages, however many pages there were Masech the Gittin, I think 91. Friends, do you remember anywhere in the 91 pages of Masech the Gittin of a marriage just magically, poof, going away? I don't remember it. I remember things like, giving a get to dissolve a marriage. I remember things like somebody dying to dissolve a marriage. I don't remember uh, just a condition kind of like, you know, Ruven said we'll be married in 30 days. Shimon marries her in the meantime. She's married to Shimon, but then magically it just goes away at 30 days. I don't remember anything like this. But I acknowledge maybe I'm wrong. But the Gemara does not assume that I'm wrong right now. So Rav Chizda says, "The Yosef Rav Chizda of a Kolkashle." He says, "I don't get it. Kedusha Sheni, but my pocket. I don't understand. How did Shim, where, where did Shimon's kedushin go at the end of the thirty days?" So Amalei Rav Yosef, so Rav Yosef says to Rav Chizda, "Mar Aresha Masnila. Look, you are seeing the machlokas between Rav and Shmuel on the Resha on." Uh, a fellow is Mekadosh a fella. He says he's going to kick in in 30 days. So comes another guy. He's Mekadosh within that window. And you're saying that Rav says that, she, you know, she's Mekadosh to the second guy forever. Shmuel says only for 30 days. Yeah, and it makes no sense. Right. Where does Shimon's Kedushin go magically at the end of 30 days? However, however, Rav Yehuda, Asefa Masnila, Velo, Kashele. But Rav Yehuda, Understands the Machlokas Rav and Shmuel to be going on the Seifa. And, 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 and if you uh, have the Machlokas on the Seifa, so then it's all gravy. The Seifa being that if a fellow says to a fellow, right? So if, if, um, uh, uh, Ruvain says to Sore, I'm, I am Kudeshis, may Achshav from now, Ula Achshav Shloshim Yom, and after 30 days. Great. So now we're not exactly sure what he means. And we're going to have different possibilities. But let's just say, maybe it means we're married from now. In which case, when Shimon comes around and is Mekadosh or afterwards, she's not Mekadosh to Shimon because she's already Mekadosh to Reuven. Or maybe it's a Chazorah. Maybe say, no, actually forget it. We're not married now. Instead, we're married in 30 days. Which means that when Shimon comes around within the 30 days of Mekadosh, so then it would be good Kedushin if the Kedushin of Reuven is only for 30 days from now. So Amirav Mekudeshes, Ve'en Mekudeshes, Le'olam. 
So Rav says, look, the Suffolk, the status, because right, the, the Gemara had said in that, the Mishnah had said in that case, Mekudesh is vain, Mekudesh is to Suffolk. Rav says that this Suffolk lasts forever. That this Suffolk lasts forever. We will never know if she is Mekudesh to Reuben or to Shimon, she would have to get a divorce from both. Ushmuel Omar, Mekudesh is vain, Mekudesh is Elo, Ad, Lamed Yom. So, Shmuel says this status, this uncertain status is only for 30 days. And after 30 days, Shimon's, uh, the suffix from Shimon goes away and she's Mikudesh's exclusively to Reuven. So Rav, we're going to explain now the positions of Rav and Shmuel. Rav, look, he's not sure. When he says Hayom Ulaacher Misa, when he says Me Achshu Ulaacher Shlosh, I'm sorry, not me, no Hayom Ulaacher Misa is 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 by Gittin. Uh, no, uh, by Kedushin he says Me Achshu Ulaacher Shlosh Yom. Rav is not sure what that means. Does that mean that he's married now? That they're married now? Does it mean that they're married in thirty days? We don't know. Comes Shimon and his Mikad is sure within the thirty days. We don't know. Was she already married to Reuven and not to Shimon? Was she not yet married to Reuven, in which case she's married to Shimon? We don't know. And that suffix is never going to go away. We will never know. And therefore, it's a suffix forever. She's going to have to get a divorce from both. But Lishmuel, Pshitele, Ditanoyo, Havoy. According to Shmuel, no, it's obvious that it is a Tnai. It's a condition. That I'm being Mikadesh, you. Under the condition that uh, right, right, that right, that we don't call it off within thirty days. What, what, what is Rashi? I think Rashi says it in an interesting way. Rashi says the Shmuel pshitele de Tanoya havoi. It's about I don't know twenty lines before the bottom of Rashi. Hilka kol lamed yom habu kedushin tluyin shem yachzerbo milamed veelech gamu. So for thirty days they're kind of pending, and then comes thirty days uh, as long as nobody's called it off. So then, so then it kicks in. We reflect the ani tanoi and. To understand Shmuel, it's a machlo, right? It's, it's based on the machlokas between these tanoim. The tani me'ayom u'la'achar misa, get ve'eno get, divri chachom, that when it comes to gitin, the chachom say, that if you say me'ayom u'la'achar misa, get ve'eno get, it's a suffix. Right? We don't know, are they divorced from now, or are they divorced after death, which of course cannot be a divorce. Rabbi Omer kaze get. And Rabbi says, it is a get from now. And Rebbe says that is a get from now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. According to Shmuel, it is it is clear that it is a, a tonight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. No, no. So, so, so the way to understand it like this, according to Shmuel, because what did Shmuel say? Shmuel said that for the first thirty days it is a suffix. After thirty days, she's only married to the first guy. How come? It's because Reuven was Mikdasher, and he says you are Mikdashes to me from now, but. Assuming that, like, right, besuffit, right, it's basically, this condition is pending until 30 days, as long as nobody called it off within 30 days, so then it kicks in completely. Now, during those 30 days, it's kind of a suffix situation, right? If it gets called off, so then, so then, uh, so then, so then, so then he's not married to Reuven. If it, if it doesn't get called off, so then after 30 days, she, uh, she will be married to Reuven. So therefore, during that whole 30 days, it's a suffix. But comes, but comes 30 days, then for sure, she is married to uh, Ruvain, and that is that. And then, so then, we pluk to Dani Tanoi. So let's read that again. So, so, so about eight lines from the bottom. We pluk to Dani Tanoi. So the machlok is between Rav and Shmuel, right? Rav, who had said Me'achshav Ulacher Shloshim Yom, it's a suffix because we don't know if it's a Tanai or if it's Chazara. And, and Shmuel says no, it's definitely a Tanai. It's like the machlokas. Uh, these following machlokas, the Tana that we learned by by Gitin, me'ayom u'la'achar miso, that if a fellow says, here's your get, right, me'ayom u'la'achar miso, so get ve'enu get tevi chacham, so the chacham are like Rav, that, that it's a suffix, we don't know, if he's, or, or is he saying that it's a get from now, in which case it's a good get, or is it la'achar miso, in which case ain't get la'achar miso. Rabbi Omer kaza get, Rabbi says, no, it's definitely a get, it's a t'nai, and he's saying that you are, you know, you are, uh, uh, um, divorced from now, um, they're divorced from now if I die. The Tanimayom, where did I just read this? 
Yes, because I get. So Venema Rav Alocha Kirabanam Venema Shmu Alocha Kirabi. So why doesn't Rav just say that the Alocha is like the Rabbanon, that we're Besafik, and Shmuel should just say it's like Rebbe, that it's a Tanai? So Tzricha, no, we need both. Wait, we, Rav would not just be able to, Rav, Rav cannot simply peg his, uh, right, right, we can't just peg Rav's opinion with the Chacham by Gittin and Shmuel's opinion like Rebbe by Gittin because the Lu'ama Rav Halacha Krabonin, if Rav would simply say that the Halacha is like the Rabbis in the context of Gittin, Hava Amino, Hosom, I would say over there, there Lerachoka Ka'asi, that he's coming to, you know, divorce his wife and, and break it up and distance her. So that is why we are Bisafik because maybe he wants to, maybe it's a, uh, tonight. Uh, maybe it is a um, right tonight, right? Maybe he was wanted to hopefully, you know, hope that things can they could fix things. But over here by Kedushin, where he wants to bring her close to her, he wants to bring her close to him. So therefore, maybe we'd say like Shmuel that it's a tonight that they're married from now. So the Tanoa have the Amr Shmuel Alocha Kirebi, and if Shmuel said that Alocha is like Rebbe, that it's a Tanai by Gittin, have Amino Hosamu, then get La Chamisa. Okay, Shmuel would say, okay, Alocha is like Rebbe by Gittin, obviously, because ain't get La Chamisa. Certainly, it's not a, 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 a Chazara. He's not saying we're divorced after I die, because ain't get La Chamisa. Certainly, it's a Tanai. Abalocha the Yesh Kedushin Lachar Lamid, Emamodele the Rav. But by Kedushin, where after 30 days you can get married, so maybe who'd agree with Rav that we're not sure if it's Tanai or Chazar. So Tzricha, therefore, we need both cases. We need Rav to say that no, when it comes to Kedushin, it's a Suffolk, maybe it's a Tanai, and that we need Shmuel to say that when it comes to um, Kedushin, it's a Tanai, uh, and we don't say it's a Chazar. Amr Abai, now says Abai, Ulitaime de Rav, now, based on Rav's opinion, that he's not sure if it is a, 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 a Tanai, in which case they're married from now, it's Kedushin from now, or if it is Chazara, in which case it is, uh, the Kedushin is only, it's not now, it's in 30 days, right? Chazara means, right? Initially he said that you are Mikudeshis, but then he says he's changing his mind and saying, no, not now, in 30 days. So, according to Rav, who's not sure, is it a Tanai or is it Chazara? You hear the case? Ruvain is Mekadesh Sara, and he says, Right? From now and after 30 days. Come Shimon, it says from now and after 20 days. Comes Levi, and he says, So for his 30 days, the second guy is 20 days, the third guy is 10 days. Merishin ume achrin tzricha get, meem tzoi eino tzricha get. She will only need to receive a get from Reuven and from Levi, not from Shimon. Because Manavshach, Itanoya Havoy, if it's a Tanai, which means that when Ruvain is Mekadisher, he's saying I'm being Mekadishu, Me'achshav, from now, Ulachar Shloshim Yom, as long as we don't cancel it within 30 days. So then, the Kama Kiddushe, the Hanachlav Kiddushe, so then she's married to Ruvain. The Kiddushin of Ruvain is the Kiddushin, not Shimon or Levi. So she would have to get a get from Ruvain. But again, Rav is not sure though. Is it a Tanai or is it Chazara? If it's Chazara, then he's saying, from now, actually, no, not from now, after 30 days. Comes Shimon, and he's also saying, not now, after 20 days. Comes Levi, he says, not now, after 10 days. So comes Levi, after 10 days, Shimon and Ruvain's Kiddushin both have not yet kicked in, after 20 and 30 days respectively. She's married to Levi. So then, Debasu Kiddushay, Tanachlav Kiddushay. So then, she's married to Levi, she's not married to uh, Reuven or Shimon. So, so according to uh, 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 Rav, who's not sure, is it Chazare or is it uh, a Tanai? So if you have this situation where 30 days, 20 days, 10 days, she would only need a get from Reuven and Levi, certainly not from Shimon, says the Gemara Pshita. Isn't this obvious? Well, 
Not necessarily because Maudutema Halishna Mashma Tnoyo Mashna Umashma Khazore Vitbay Gitmi Kochad Bachad Komaj Malon. Well, it could be that the way to understand the Rav's uh, Sophic and his uncertainty is um not that either it's a Tanai or it's Chazara, and we just don't know, but if it's Chazara, then it would be Chazara for Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. And if it was a Tanai, it would be a Tanai for Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. Maybe it's subjective. Maybe Reuven is Mekadishur, and he says, It's entirely up to Reuven. I don't know, what was his intention? Was his intention that it's a Tanai, or was his intention that it is a Chazara? If his intention was that it's a Tanai, then she would need to get from Reuven. But if his, in- his intention was that it was Chazara, well, then what was Levi's intention? Well, if Levi's intention that it was a Tanai, well, then she would not be married to Ruvain, but she would marry to Shimon. I don't know, if Shimon, the second guy. Um, and then she would, so she would need to get from Shimon, but not from Ruvain or Levi. But if Ruvain and Shimon's intention was both that it was Chazara, and then comes Levi's Makadish for after 10 days, well, then she would need to get from Levi and not from Ruvain and Shimon. So, 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 you know, I may have thought to say that what's Rav's suffix? It's not that he doesn't know, is it globally a Tanai or is it globally a Chazara? Maybe what he's not sure is that each person, it's up to them to decide what their, to, what, depending on what their intention was. And if you say that, well, then everybody should need a get because it just simply depends what everybody's intention was at the time. So Kamaj Malan, it's saying that is not how. Rab Suffolk works. Rab Suffolk is in fact a global Suffolk, which is that we're not sure. Is is it objectively a Tanai or is it objectively a Chazara? Um, and therefore, uh, if it's a Tanai, you would only need to get from Reuven. If it's a Chazara, you don't need to get from Levi. You would only need to get from Levi, but you would never need to get from Shimon. Chavay, how's this dav going for you? Kind of technical, but I think it's good that we're just plowing through it because there, how would you remember? Imagine tomorrow we just started in the middle of this sugya. Come on, just just power through it, and I don't know how much longer can it take. Another ten minutes, but it's going to be a long daf probably. This, this might be this might be an hour daf. This might be an hour daf. But then again, it's quite a bit. I mean, we we started on daf from Chesam and base, and we're 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 finishing on Samach Amud Aleph. I mean, it's almost like a daf and a half, really. Okay, Ula Amr says Ula. Ula, Ula Amr Rabbi Yochanan says Ula Amr Rabbi Yochanan. Afilu Meya Tov Sin Ba. So Ula says name Rabbi Yochanan that actually you could have a situation where uh, even a hundred people would need to give Gitin, right? Because uh, it sounds like Ula, it, if I understand correctly, Ula's understanding Rabbi Yochanan that actually not, it wouldn't just be the first person and the last person. Actually, everybody would require get. And if you have a hundred people saying, you know, Meachshav Lachar. A hundred, ninety nine days, ninety eight days. So you would have to get a get from everybody, if I understand correctly. Even a hundred kiddushin could, you know, could be affected. Similarly, says Abasi, you can even have a hundred. I'll explain for you the reason of Rabbi Yochanan. Shavon Avshayu ki sharga de livne. It's like a stack of bricks. Techochad vechad ravcha lechavre shavak that each one leaves space for its friends. Anybody ever seen uh, bricks? Anybody ever seen a building with bricks? So if you've ever seen a building with bricks, so the way they do it is like the, you don't stack the bricks one on top of the other straight. You have like two, and then you have one on you know kind of on top of the two, and then you know what I mean. If you've seen bricks. Uh, you, uh, you'll know what I'm saying if you've, if you've ever seen uh, a building made out of bricks. So each one kind of leaves a little bit of extra space for the next one to, right, to kind of sit on it. Like you only use like half of the brick and then there's half of the brick for like the next brick to go onto, right? All right. So here also, like each of the hundred like left like space for the next person to kind of get in, right? A hundred, the ninety-nine, the ninety-eight. All right. Um, most of Abchanina. Abchanina, however... Asakasha Mayom Ulachar Misa get veeno get. So okay, we have a brisa that says Mayom Ulachar Misa. Right, he gives a get from today and after I die. Okay, the imes so get veeno get. It's a suffix if it's a get or not. Right, if it's a uh, 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 tonight and it's a uh, Mayom. 
But it's a get. If it's Chazara, then it's Lacha Misa, and get Lacha Misa. So it's not a get. V'im meis, choletzes, v'lo misyabemes. And if the husband dies, so then you do Chalitza, you don't do Yibum. Right? Because if it's a get, so then there's no need for Chalitza or Yibum. And if it if it's a get, then there's no need for yibum or chalitza. If it's not a get, so then they're still married, and she would have to do, you know, yibum. So just do chalitza and play it safe. Bishlam al rav, so I understand according to rav, misayele. Okay, this fits in with rav, because rav says it's a suffix. The shmuel nami, and even according to shmuel, it says it's a tnai, which would mean that it's a good get, but but still, have a, a nami, homani, rabonani. This is. The rabbi's opinion that they say that it's a suffix. The onadami kurebi. But Shmuel will say, look, I, I, I hold like Rebbe though that it's not a suffix, it's a tanai. Fine. But this is the opinion of the rabbis. El Rabbi Yechanan do Omar Shiura Have. According to Rabbi Yochanan, who says that it's um, somehow kind of leaving uh, 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 space in the get. So apparently Rabbi Yochanan understands that these gitten are somehow leaving some extra space. That these gitten are somehow leaving some like extra space. So uh, if that is the uh, case, so then, so then, so then, um, so then I have a kogita de mishayaba velo klumu. So then, I don't know, a get that leaves extra space obviously doesn't work, right? It has to be a safer crisis, a complete crisis. I don't really understand, honestly, what it means that it's like leaving over space. But according to, um, um, uh, uh, Ra, according to Shmuel, no, according to Yochanan, when he says, Hayom ulacher misa, it's somehow leaving over some extra space in the get. But if that's the case, then it's not a get at all. So it's not a get at all. So it means that they're still married. So then let them do yibum, right? So yabum and miyabum, let them do yibum. Why do you have to do chalitza? So Amrava get lahotzi, Rav says, well, a get is to be motzi, umisa lahotzi, and misa is also lahotzi. Mashashir, get, whatever the get, so I guess if he says, me'ayom, I don't know, ulach or misa, I don't know, it's like, I guess, starts the get today, but it's complete like after misa, I don't know. So whatever the get left over, gamarto misa, the misa then completed it. And therefore, uh, I don't know, I guess, is the suffix, if, yeah, I guess it's like both kind of characteristics of get and misa, and therefore you need to do chalitza and naibu. All right. Abai says, Abai midami. So Abai says, no, you can't compare those. Get motziya meir shusyov, misa machna solar shusyov. A get, if it's a get, so then she wouldn't have to do any yibum. But if it's misa, then there would be yibum. So those are two separate things. Elo Amar Abai, rather says Abai, look. Yes, enochinami. If the get is leaving over some space of not being divorced, then it's not a good get, and she should be able to do yibum. However, awesome time of my gzera mishum mehayom imati. However, it's a gzera because if the get was not mehayom ula achar misa, but mehayom imati, so then it's a condition that if I die, then it's a get from today. And if that's the case, then then it's a get, and there wouldn't be any yibum uh, at all. But um, but um, so out of concern for that, we say don't do yibum. Out of concern that you might get confused from meayom imati as opposed to meayom ulach misa, and therefore meayom ulach misa don't do yibum, do chalitza. Harei ze get v'nigzor meayom right meayom imati harei ze get v'nigzor meayom imati de tachlots. So then why don't we say that okay when he wait, meaning we don't say that when it comes to meayom imati. We don't say, well, then do chalitza. No, it's there. We simply say it's a good get. There's no yibum, no chalitza, no nothing. Why don't we say that just like meayom alachamisa, we say don't do yibum, instead do chalitza out of concern for meayom imati, by meaning by meayom alachamisa out of concern for meayom imati. So why don't we say the same thing that by meayom imati do chalitza out of concern for meayom alachamisa? Imata ome cholatzes. Well, because if by me'ayom imati, which is actually a get, which means that yibum is irrelevant, if you say do chalitza, people will think, well, if I could do chalitza, I could also do yibum. But over there, there is no yibum. It's just a grushas ochiv, which is uh, a rise, which is a problem. So, achanami imata ome cholatzis misyabemis. But here also, from me'ayom ula achar misa, shouldn't we be concerned that if you do chalitza, you might also do yibum? But still, we, but we say, okay, so let them do yibum. Who cares? So, if we say that it, you're leaving over in the get, and therefore it's not a get at all, that means that they're married, and that means you can do yibum. We only say to do chalitza out of a concern that of of, of meayom imati. If by meayom misa we say, well, if you do chalitza, maybe you'll end up doing yibum. Okay, do yibum. They, 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 
technically speaking, Midor Ice is even anyways. Well, uh, that was Daf uh, Nun Tes uh, uh, of Masech the Kedushin. We also started on Daf Nun Ches and we ended on Daf Samach. We kind of saw three Dafs in that uh, Daf. And then uh, yeah, we started the third parak about different kinds of, uh, wow, it feels like we started this Daf ages ago, talking about like backstabbers and Ramais and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, then we started talking about, um, uh, well, Dibor, Mavato, Dibor. Oh my, it feels like it was ages ago that we did these things and then we got into the shaila of uh, 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 um, is it a suffolk uh, kiddushin or is it a tanai we got into getting we touched a lot of stuff on this stuff but i uh, hope you enjoyed peace out